Hey guys, it's Mr. Six or Jordan here, and I'm here for another career mode video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at the best center backs you can buy, plays with really good potential. So yeah, let's just get straight away. Uh, straight away started. See, so yeah, the first player is John Stones, obviously from Everton. Uh, I think Chelsea really wanted to sign this guy in real life uh, in the transfer window, but they didn't get a deal done because uh, he's a bit too expensive. But yeah, he's one of the upcoming young talents in English football. He's really he's been pretty good last season. Uh, he's been all right this season as well. But yeah, so he starts with a 77 rated, and he's six foot two and 21 years old. He has a potential of 87, which is a growth of 10. So yeah, you can sign this guy. Most likely not too expensive in the game because um, he's young. Uh, he's not too young. Like he could be younger, and his rating's not extremely high. But yeah, he he would be a good signing as well. He starts out with good pace as well. 72 and 78 defending and 75 physical. So yeah, the next player is Kurt Zuma. Obviously, this guy plays for Chelsea. This guy's an absolute beast. Uh, in real life, he's been playing very well this season. I think he's at an inform in FIFA as well. He starts with a 77, goes to an 87 rated, and he's 20 years old, so he's a bit younger than uh, John Stones. And he's the same. He's just as good, probably if not a bit better, because uh, yeah, he's a bit younger, so he has more time to grow. But yeah, he starts with a 73 pace, 77 defending, and 79 physical. So really nice stats. He must. He probably has very good strength. Yes, he has 85 strength as well, which uh, is a good stat to have for the centre backs, obviously. So yeah, this guy would be also really good to sign, but this he might be a bit expensive because he's quite young and has a good rating. The next player, Marquinhos. This guy is one of the higher end um, young centre back signings you could have. He would be a perfect signing for a team like Real Madrid or Barcelona or buying like a big team like that who has a lot of money to spend because he's going to be expensive like he starts as 81 rated goes to 87 rated and he's only 21 years old so he's a very expensive player most likely so you won't really be able to sign him unless you're a top team the next player is going to be Aymeric Laporte the same thing with him as Marquinhos he starts with very nice stats 72 pace and 86 defending and 77 physical 83 rated and his potential of 87 and he's 21 years old only so yeah he could really be a good signing for a team like Real Madrid like in my opinion or Barcelona or Bayern Munich again so yeah that's basically it for him next player is uh, Chancel Mbemba uh, he played for Newcastle obviously uh, I think he played for Anderlecht I think in the Belgium league Last season, uh, yeah, he was really good on Ultimate Team last season as well. I used him a couple times. Uh, I think he had an inform I used at CDM, I think. Yep. All right, yeah, he has really good pace, 82 pace, 77 defending, 79 physical. Starts off as 79 rated, 77 rated and goes to the 86 rated. He's only 21 years old as well. This guy, he's not going to be too expensive, and he'll be a very good signing for most clubs because... If he gets his full potential, he can probably get close to 90 pace, which would be is, is rapid and would be really good for a center back. Uh, I would be happy with that for a striker or a winger even. Okay, so the next player is Jason Denayer. Um, he plays for Man City, 74 pace, 71 defending, 74 physical at 71 rated. He can go up to 84 or even higher with a growth of 13. He's only 20 years old. Uh, I believe this guy played for uh, Celtic last season. I'm just going to go check that out. Uh, yes, this is the guy who played for Celtic last season. Uh, yeah, he's a very good player. He played really well in last, last year. But, uh, yeah, so next player is uh, Jorge Mere. 70 rated, 82 potential with... 67 pace, 73 defending, 69 physical. This guy is, and he's only 18 years old as well. This guy, he's a player who a small team could sign this guy. Like if you're Newcastle and you get a really good offer from Mbemba, you could sign someone like this. Or yeah, he would be a perfect player for second division side. 
who wants to get promoted, like the team in the Skybet Championship, or whatever it's called, that FL champ, Football League Championship, I think now. Yeah, he would be a pretty decent signing. He's five foot eleven, but that's basically six foot. He's one eighty two centimeters. That's technically pretty much six foot. Yeah, next player, Joe Gomez from Liverpool. 77 pace, 66 defending, 64 physical. Starts with a 64 rated, goes to 80 rated, and he's only 18 years old. Again, this guy would be a perfect signing for a team who's low down in like England, like the League One or the Championship. He would be a good signing, but he would be probably quite expensive because he does have very good potential and he's very young. But uh, I'm sure you could pull off a pretty decent deal for him. Next player, Rivaldo Cotze. This guy is in a, f a free agent. He has 72 pace, 72 defending, and 62 physical. Uh, starts off a 67 rated, and he has 82 potential. And he's 18 years old. Um, and he even has four star weak foot, which is quite nice. So, yeah, this is a player, again, same as uh, the last guy, uh, Joe Gomez. He could uh, be perfect for a team who's like in the FL League 2, League 1 or Championship or something. So yeah, I think I'm going to be signing this guy in my uh, new career mode with Luton Town. Um, I've just discovered this guy before the, in the, for this video. So yeah, um, yeah, he could be a potential signing for that series. He would be quite cheap as well. So let's get to the next player. Uh, Hiro Riedwald. Uh, I think I killed his name right there. <laughs> anyway, he plays for Ajax in the Netherlands, obviously. He has 74 pace, 75 defending, 74 physical, and he's 75 rated at the start. He has 86 potential, he's 19 years old. So yeah, he's still a very young player, and he has pretty decent potential. This guy would be good for a like a lower Premier League team or a mid-table team like bottom mid-table teams, like bottom 10 teams in the BPL, he would be a very good player for them. Like a team like Stoke City, actually, yeah, probably Stoke City would be pretty good uh, place for this guy. Uh, next to Short Cross at the back. Yeah, the next player, Vallejo from uh, Real Zaragoza in the Atalanta. Yep, Atalanta now. They were up in the BBV a couple years back. But yeah, he has 70, uh, 70 pace, 77 defending, and 70 physical. Starts up as 74 rated, and he has 86 potential. He's only 18 years old as well. Yeah, this guy has a lot of room to grow. He would be a perfect player for uh, some of the big Spanish teams because he is Spanish. It's always nice to have a, a player from your own country. He would be a good player for like a team like Valencia or uh, Real Madrid or Barca. Um... But it would be nice to like buy him and loan him out for a bit to get him a bit higher. And once he's about 80-ish rated, you could probably play him in your first team uh, uh, without doubt of him doing anything bad. So yeah, let's get to the next player. That's going to be Gokhan Gul. This guy is a budget player, but he looks like a very nice player. Uh, he starts off as 57 rated with 60 pace, 59 defending, and 60 physical. But he has 79 potential, which is a growth of 22, and he's only 17 years old. And he even has three star skill moves, so you can do some roulettes out of defense if you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, this guy would be a very nice signing for like a team like Luton Town, like I'm doing, like a League Two team, like a really bad team, really, basically. And then you could uh, bring him up and sell him for a lot more, or keep him as like a very nice player at the back he can get to 79 which is good so yeah it's a pretty decent rating for a player let's get the next player Regan Poole this guy a bit like the last guy as well he starts with a 54 rated he has 67 pace 53 defending and 63 physical but he has a 76 potential and he's only 17 years old this guy if you play him a lot and uh, he could get very high high rated, and if you use the training system in the game in career mode now. So yeah, again, another good signing for a League Two team or such. The next player, Alessio Romagnoli, uh, AC Milan signed him from Roma. So unfortunately, you won't be able to sign him until the next transfer window, the January one. 
obviously in the game. So yeah, he starts off with a 75 rated. He has 66 pace, 77 defending, and 74 physical. He has 87 potential as well. And he's only 20 years old. This guy, he's been tutored as one of the best Italian uh, defensive prospects in the last few years in real life. And uh, that's starting to show in the game now as well. So yeah, he's a very nice player. And... Yeah, let's go to the next player, which is Daniel uh, Daniele Rugani, uh, who signed for Juventus this season from uh, I want to say Empoli, but I'm not sure. It's a team with a blue badge. I forgot what team that is. I'll go check that out real quick. But yeah, he he's 78 rated. Starts with a 66, uh, was 66 pace, 82 defending, and 74 physical. Uh, yes, it was Empoli, I think. Yeah, that is Empoli. Okay. Um, yeah, he has 88 potential as well, and he's only 21 years old. So, yeah, he can really grow a lot. Like, he again, he would be good signing for, like, a higher mid-table or top Premier League team or equivalent in other leagues as well, of course, as he's a Juventus already. Yeah, hopefully he can continue his progression in real life as well. He's one uh, 188 centimeters or six foot two, which is uh, quite tall and quite good for a centre back. Next player is Nicholas Sule uh, from Hoffenheim. He has 58 pace, 81 defending, and 78 physical. He's, and he starts with a 78 rated, and he has an 88 potential. And he's only 20 years old. So yeah, this guy he can grow a lot. Again, he would be good signing for a top German team like Bayern Munich or Dortmund. Schalke, uh, Borussia Mogden, Gladbach, such. So yeah, next player, Raphael Varane. This guy, he would be an amazing signing for any team. Like, whatever team you are, you want this guy. This guy is a beast. That's not just, like, my Real Madrid bias coming into play. He has 79 pace, 84 defending, and 75 physical. I think he still deserves more physical and more pace. In real life, he's really damn fast. Uh, there was a game last season I was watching. can't remember who was against, but he made a run. Like, he just dribbled the ball up uh, pretty much the whole pitch, and it legit looked like it was Ronaldo to me. I thought it was Ronaldo, and the commentator said Varane, and I, was, I got really surprised there. But, yeah, he has 89 potential. And he's only 22 years old, and he's six foot three. Even that's just like the perfect centre back, right? They you couldn't really want much else from a centre back. He can grow a lot. He's young, and he's already really good. So yeah, let's get to the next player, which is Jonathan Tarr. This guy is 73 rated, 64 pace, 73 defending, and 76 physical. He has 86 potential. He's 19 years old with four star weak foot, and he's six foot four. This guy. Again, he's a very good player. He would be a good player for like a lower team in the top division of a uh, country, like England or Germany or Spain or whatever. And uh, yeah, he could like improve a lot and become one of the best player, one of the best centre backs in the game. So, yeah, uh, that's it for him basically. And he's 19 years old, so he has a lot of time to grow. So yeah, uh, guys, that's the end of the video. Here, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video as well, and uh, please stay tuned for more videos like this. I'm going to be doing left backs, right backs, uh, and every other position on the pitch uh, very soon. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and su subscribe if you enjoyed the video.